Hey everybody, welcome back to No Drummer News. It's Adam22 here with your man AD. Let's get right into these stories. So first things first, Cardi B and Cuban Doll got into a heated exchange over the weekend after Cuban shared photos of a leopard print look from her upcoming music video. The back and forth appears to have started after a fan account tweeted that Cuban had uploaded a snapshot of Nicki Minaj on her Instagram stories, implying that Nicki was the inspiration for her leopard print ensemble in a music video that she is releasing. But Cardi B fans brought up Cardi B's WAP video in which she wears a leopard print outfit, speculating that Cuban Doll took the inspo for the upcoming music video from Cardi. Cuban then began sending multiple subliminal tweets at Cardi that have also been deleted. In the post, she denied being inspired by Cardi B saying, ask me why they hate me. They don't have a reason, just bandwagoning. It's cool though, everyone that's ever hated never succeeded. Cardi B then deleted the tweet. Cardi then uploaded the images of two now deleted tweets from Cuban that appear to allude to Cardi's previous marital issues with Offset. I pray a man don't marry me just to cheat on me. That's next level OD disrespect, Cuban wrote, adding, I can never be inspired by somebody who I don't listen to. Simple, stop trying to force that on me. Cardi captioned the screenshots writing, you started this whole shit with those two now deleted tweets being shady about the inspiration and then my husband. Now that I respond, I'm wrong. Cuban went on to call Cardi a bully who was attacking her over clothes. Cardi said that her frustration had nothing to do with the leopard outfit, but rather the tweets about cheating and her husband. It was never about clothes. I never shaded you. You put those two tweets up and then you deleted them. And now you're talking about, I bullied you. Cuban responded tweeting, girl, shut the fuck up. We never had a problem. You dry tweeted that shit about me. Me and you ain't been cool since Offset was trying to fuck me. Then immediately after she told Cardi to not play the victim. Cardi slammed the victim claim, saying that Cuban was the one who began the fight. This is a notable turning point in the exchange, as XXL notes. The video that Cardi B tweeted is from 2019, in which Cuban is telling a TMZ reporter that she didn't know Offset and never spoken to him at that time. Is it true? Did you hook up with Offset? No, I don't know him. I never spoke to him. I have never had no conversation with him. Driver point even further, Cardi B shared DMs between her and Cuban Doll, in which Cuban denied that she knew anything about the Offset cheating situation and said Summer Bunny, her friend at the time was the woman caught in the cheating scandal. In 2018, Summer Bunny claimed that the Migos rapper wanted a threesome with her and Cuban. According to Cuban, she and Offset were together while he was in a relationship with Cardi. You say all this now, but you said something different when I asked you about it directly. Where was this energy then? Don't play tough now. I see we didn't leave looking for clout in 2021. Cuban also sent out perhaps the most revealing tweet of the night, claiming in a now deleted post that she was paid off to clear Offset's name in the 2018 cheating scandal. Girl, well, you know I was paid to clear his name, Cuban tweeted with crying laughing emojis. Cardi proceeded to question Cuban's claims. First you said the girl was no longer your friend. Then it turned to he was fucking her. Now it's he was trying to fuck you. You can't even keep up with your own lies. Show me the receipts. You started this yet asking me what does it prove? Honey, you need this moment, not me. And I never said you were inspired. I personally didn't care, but it's clear it hit a nerve because it got your little Twitter fingers popping. Finally, the two ended things by seemingly agreeing to disagree, but not without throwing out final shots. Deleting those tweets, it's bad for business and I'm I'm done helping out the needy, Cardi tweeted out. I want to apologize to my fans. I know y'all get upset when I give attention to germs. Cuban shared her tweet writing, don't need no attention from no rat ass hoe. First question, how do you feel about the fact that we're even covering the story right now? I mean, is, is this news? It's news. It's two, it's two women in hip hop. It's, it's fair game. Do you feel a little bit above it? Like even us discussing something so petty and childish and just clearly just girl business. I mean, we get to throw Doritos on people and stuff, so I don't think this is uh, beneath us. Yeah, you're right. We're not the most serious news operation, no. are we? So this hits home to me because I remember it was Why? three years ago. Three years ago, I flew to Japan, went there for a little vacation with my boo, and as soon as we got there, the tweets came out about Offset allegedly trying to create this threesome with Summer saying, Bunny. Oh my God. Yes, I was very, very excited about it at that time. And I remember my girl being kind of pissed off at me that we were on the bus from the airport in Japan to the hotel and that I was clearly just like putting out so much mental effort into paying attention to this saga. So that's why it hits close to home for me. And at that time, I remember when when uh, Cuban Doll came out and said, oh, you know, I wasn't fucking with Offset, et cetera, et cetera. I remember thinking, 
is this real or is this just like her trying to cover up for something that she actually was involved in? I remember even Summer Bunny was hitting me up trying to do an interview at one point in time. I think I've dubbed her because it just seemed beneath me. Uh, multiple things are beneath me on this episode of the show. But uh, <laughs> it's funny seeing Cuban Doll now come out and say that actually she was paid and she lied about the whole thing. I don't trust Cuban Doll as far as I can throw her. I think she's <laughs> she's a bad seed. I don't trust nothing that comes out of her mouth. And I really feel like Cardi B just probably probably shouldn't have responded to her in the first place she is yeah. so far beneath cardi b she is she is less than one percent of a cardi b like the fact that she's even giving her this attention is honestly pretty crazy yeah i was kind of disappointed because i was like cardi is this you you out of here you like light years uh mm. you know away from this stuff but it just goes to show like she don't play about her fucking man mm. and you know what i'm saying like she really trying to like get the facts and shit like that and then too is just like like, come on, man. This is something from 2019. Why the fuck are either of you guys even bringing that shit up mm. in 2022? The crazy part about it, too, I was saying to my girl, I'm like, imagine if this was us and if this actually happened the way that, that Cuban Doll is saying it happened, where you get caught for doing some slippery shit. You manage to lie your way out of it. You manage to paint a totally different picture. Maybe you got to pay the girl off to not say something to your girl, et cetera, to lie and come out and say it's not true, whatever. And then you find out three years later, your girl finds out how fucking evil and deceptive you are. That's some next level shit. My girl would be so goddamn mad at me. I, I'm pretty sure if it was true, the, the facts would have came out already. One thing that I know is that females that have a fucking voice, women love to tell on, mm. you know what I'm saying, to get in their good graces. So I'm pretty sure if that shit was like really real or they had some real facts, she would have been found that shit out. Yeah, I mean, like, Cuban Doll, I don't really see what her reason for lying about it. But actually, Cuban Doll didn't actually say that she fucked Offset. Even in this, she said he was trying to fuck her, which basically to me means that he didn't fuck her. Who knows about what was going on with Summer Bunny? Maybe that was what Cardi was mad about all along, was that he was Bro, he was fucking promo, with Summer man. Bunny. She got a fucking... You, she's doing a music video. Mm. This is These are headlines. Come on now. This is, this is like the perfect... It's a W for Cuban Doll because she's getting a response from the biggest female rapper in the fucking game. And I love how all these girls got like four different like outfit options from videos and then they're all like you wore leopard print and I wore leopard print. It's like, like -Man there's like 10 fucking outfits that you could potentially choose from in the entire yeah, history of being hundreds. a female. Maybe, but th I mean, it's just they all come back to the same shit. What is one of y'all gonna look like Missy Elliott? They're all out here just looking like strippers. They're just doing little stripper make-believe pretend shit. The fact that they're even taking themselves serious enough to argue about outfits, come the fuck on. YouTube, if you enjoyed this, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will be back real, real, real soon. And also, subscribe to No Jumper Clips. Boom.